Hello, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today we are going to talk about one of the most important uh, or you can call it one of the preliminary things, the first things which we should study in the immunology or the medical microbiology that is called like coast postulates. So this coast postulates uh, is in nothing. Uh, this is a uh, few postulates, few rules has been given by Robert Koch uh, for the diagnosis of the causative organism in any microbial pathogenic diseases. So we'll see what is this one. So because of his contribution in the medical microbiology field, he is known as uh, father of the medical microbiology. Uh, he was literally working on the anthrax. Uh, the anthrax is caused by bacillus anthracis and normally it causes the disease in the cattle and cow and sometimes human also. For uh, what is the basic theme of this uh, coach postulate is the for most in infectious diseases, yeah, almost all the infectious diseases, whatever according to him, it is identification of the causative pathogens is very critical step. So that we are knowing that whenever we are having infectious disease, disease should, should be identified, the causative agent should be identified, should be detected, then only that better treatment, better uh, can be uh, management can be done so for infectious disease cases in case of infectious disease the identification of the pathogenic organism should be the very critical steps so for that one he has given four postulates so this four postulates summarizes his method of determining whether a particular microorganism or pathogenic organism was the cause of a particular disease or not so that we are going to see it so in his uh, postulates this is a kind of you can call it a story uh, so we should uh, first see the summary of this uh, this story this four postulates and then we'll go for one by one postulate we'll explain it so the, uh, we, this is an organism uh, which is diseased organism so because of this disease this organism is died so according to uh, Robert Koch whenever we are having organism which is disease uh, disease organism which is having a disease and it has an organism has been died so from that diseased organisms, uh, this we should get some kind of causative agent. So causative agent which is going to cause the disease in this organism should be isolated from that one. So uh, organism should be isolated. That organism should be cultured in a petri plate in the laboratory. So you can uh, culture the organism in the laboratory on the artificial condition in the uh, not in normal condition, in vitro condition, that is in the petri plates. When this cultured organism we are going to introduce to a fresh, healthy organism, this organism, causative agent, should cause the same disease with the same symptoms, same, uh, same kind of characteristic feature into this organism. As this organism was causing death here, so ultimately, this organism should cause death here also and from this dead organisms we should recover re-isolate the same organism which we have cultured it or which we have culture we have got it from the first organism so the organism causative agent isolated from this first dead organism will be the same which is isolated from this dead organism so this is the whole story so for that one we have given four postulates uh, in four steps so we are going to see one by one so in case of uh, first postulates what he has told it the causative agent of a particular disease should not present in a healthy organism healthy host yeah healthy uh, system so whenever we are having a healthy organism we should not get any kind of causative agent we should not uh, get any kind of infectious particle causative agent your pathogenic organism from that one so this is a healthy organism and we have not received any kind of pathogenic organism on the cultured plate when we have taken sample from this one and we have cultured it we have not got anything so this is the first part of the first postulates in the first postulate is having another part where so the ultimately theme of this first part is the suspect Causative organism agent, suspected causative agent means the organism which is going to cause the disease must be absent from all the healthy organisms. So in healthy organism, there should not be any kind of causative agent should present. 
in the b part whenever we are having a diseased organism a organism which is having a disease and because of that disease the organism has been died so from that one we should get we should isolate we can isolate a pathogenic organism so causative agent has to be isolated from this dead organism which is caused because of a disease so according to his first postulate if we we'll merge a and b so the causative agent should be present in all the diseased dead organism but it should be absent it cannot be present in the healthy organism so the suspected causative agent must be present in all the diseased host whereas it should be absent in all the healthy host that was the first postulate now come to the second postulates so whatever organism we have isolated from this one uh, from the digit dead organism so we have isolated so we have taken some kind of uh, organism that organism should be cultured into the artificial into the laboratory condition so in the cultured sample the organism which is isolated from the diseased dead organism should be cultured into the laboratory that is the second postulate so the isolated causative agent the suspected causative agent must be isolated from the diseased host and can be grown in a pure culture pure culture means the single colony of that single organism should be isolated into the laboratory that is the second postulates in the third postulates this cultured organism which we have just now cultured into the laboratory when injected into the fresh healthy host this cultured organism should cause the same disease from same disease means which disease from where we have isolated this one so the disease which is going to cause in this organism after the introduction of this cultured organism will be the same as the in the first organism we had from where we have isolated this one so this should also die this is third postulate so the pure culture culture means which organism we have isolated should cause the same disease when inoculated or injected into the healthy and susceptible host that is the third postulate in the fourth postulates the diseased dead organism when we have injected the cultured organism into the healthy host this organism has been died so from this dead organism we should re isolate re culture re purify same organism which we have injected from the first organism which we have taken got from the first organism in the first postulates so from this organism we should separate culture and that culture should be the same culture same organism which we have got it from the first sample this is the fourth postulate the same positive agent which we have introduced must be re isolated from the inoculated disease experimental animal this is exper uh, experimental disease animal and being identical to the original causative agent original causative agent means the which we have isolated from the first case first postulate during first organism so if you summarize all the four postulates it's first the suspected pathogen the causative agent must be present in all the cases of disease whenever disease will be there so in every case the pathogen should have to be there but it should not found in healthy individual that is the first postulate second postulate is this suspected pathogen can be isolated and grown in pure culture into the laboratory third postulate is when this grown cultured organism will be re will be introduced into the healthy susceptible host it should cause the same disease with the same sign and symptom as to the first organism first postulate and the fourth is the pathogen can be re isolated from the organism where we have re injected this one so the same organism same pathogen should be re isolated re purified that is the fourth postulate so this is the same thing the if you will see summarize it first we are having a healthy host from the healthy host when we have taken sample we have not got any kind of pathogen so no pathogen is present that is is first part of first postulate in this first part of second first uh, postulate second part is from the diseased animal we should get isolate the cultured and a causative agent that causative agent should be cultured into the laboratory 
and when this cultured organism will be introduced into a healthy susceptible host thus it should cause the same disease as it was here in the first case and from this disease organism same organism should be purified which we have injected which we have got it from the first case. these are the fourth postulate now because this postulate was uh, uh, given in, in 1980s but so uh, that time we don't have too much of literature too much of uh, instruments sophisticated tools and techniques so that time it was fine so it this postulates was working for number of times means for long duration of time but once we have got number of tools and techniques and we have got more information about the pathogenicity pathogenic regions etiology then we have seen there are some drawbacks in this cost postulates the first drawback is according to this postulate the pathogen are only found in diseased not healthy individual healthy cases according to this according to his first postulates the pathogen are going to be present only in the disease condition not in the healthy individual but we know one of the example is helicobacter pylori helicobacter pylori is going to cause some disease going to cause gastroenteritis in the human being roughly more than 90% human is having helicobacter pylori normally it does not cause disease but sometime this helicobacter pylori causes a disease that is called gastroenteritis so this helicobacter pylori is present both normal as well as the disease conditions so according to this so this first postulate is not exactly correct because the pathogens are present in the healthy human being also but it is not going to cause any kind of disease come to the second uh, drawback is all healthy test subjects are equally susceptible to the disease according to this postulates he has introduced the cultured pathogen into all the susceptible host so according to him all the susceptible host will have the same kind of immunity same kind of pathogenicity will cause in the same thing whenever you are going to introduce and this is not a things all the organisms susceptibility susceptibility to a disease depends on their immunity depends on number of other factors so the susceptibility to the disease for one individual is going to be different from the other individual so every individual is not susceptible for a particular disease so susceptibility different differs in organism to organism so here his third, third postulates where he injected inoculated the isolated cultured organism into the susceptible host that is not exactly correct and another drawback is all pathogens are microorganisms that can be grown in pure culture so because he has cultured all organisms as a pure culture and the animal could serve as a reliable model for human disease but so according to him all the isolated causative agents should be recultured into the lab yak should be cultured into the lab into the artificial environment but we know now there are number of organism which cannot be recultured when not we cannot be grown very easily into the lab like some of the example rickettsia chlamydia hiv these are some of the organism some of the uh, pathogenic agents which cannot be caused into the laboratory so this is these are the three different drawbacks for different postulates later on when we have a uh, lot of information lot of uh, understanding we have got about the pathogenicity then there are some kind of modification occurs in this postulates so in 1988 stanley falcon we has proposed a revised post um, postulates which is known as molecular coach postulates according to this molecular postulates for the every disease it's not the organism which is responsible according to this modern molecular postulates for every disease it is the gene which is responsible the chromosome the factor which is responsible that is gene so the premise of the molecular coach postulate is not in the ability to isolate a particular pathogen but rather to identify a gene that may cause the organism to be pathogenic not only infections caused by intracellular pathogens but also the existence of non pathogenic strain of non pathogenic organism like e coli which is a normal microbiota of our body but those normal e coli 
you have number of strains which can cause a disease so e coli can be both non pathogenic can be pathogenic so every time every strain of e coli does not going to cause a disease so not all only infection caused by intracellular pathogens but also the existence of pathogenic strains like e coli pathogenic strains or of non pathogenic organisms so according to this molecular post postulate says first postulate is a phenotype that is sign and symptom of a disease should be associated with the pathogenic strain of a species so for every disease every whatever type of sign and symptom we are going to get for that one the pathogenic strain of a species is responsible the activation of the suspected gene for every pathogenicity a pathogenicity character gene is responsible so inactivation if you will remove those genes you, you if you will inactivate those genes associated with the pathogenicity should result in the measurable loss of pathogenicity so for every pathogenicity character gene is responsible if you will inactivate those genes pathogenicity will be lost that is the second postulate of molecular post postulates and the third is if you will reactivate this gene the pathogenicity should be reverted pathogenicity should come back so reversion of the inactive gene should restore the gene phenotype these are the three postulates but again uh, there are number of uh, drawbacks associated with this motor molecular post postulates also like one of the things is every time reversal is not possible yeah, every time reversal does not leads to the reactivation or yeah, regain of pathogenicity so but this is slightly more advanced than the ancient post postulates so now this molecular post postulates we are going to use it will be used in our day to day pathogenic strains isolation for a particular disease so these are the post postulates hope you have understand uh, if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it thank you very much have a nice day